Good morning comrades and I like all my other vlogs today we're gonna jump right into the action and today's action means getting alignment set up for this McLaren 675 LT of Robert and like every car once you start driving car especially on the track you start thinking that the car needs a bit more fine-tuning although the car is already maybe perfect super or even near hypercar in this case McLaren 675 LT in this case, Robert, the owner, had some issues with the cars, had some more, or not even issues, but more wishes towards the car. And we went to our friends at Get Speed, since they have a lot of experience with race cars, especially on the Nürburgring Nordschleife, where this car is being used. This is not a garage queen, this is not a trailer bitch, but a real car that is being used, as you can see, for the purpose that it has been built for. And like I told you, there are still some things that we can improve and well, I'll give the word to Anna now. Hello, Anna, Hello. From, how are you doing? Again, so, um, I'm pretty sure that uh, among my audience, there are also a lot of motorsport enthusiasts and they know what alignment is about. So this video is going to cover the basics, what we're doing, what's important to uh, have on the alignment on the car. And well, I'll let Anna explain. So what has been happening to the car so far? Okay, uh, first of all, we did a set down mm -hmm. to check uh, how the car is now. To yeah. The extra, uh, yeah, yeah. The measurement. And for this, it is really important to have the car uh, really, really straight. It needs yeah. to be exactly straight on every side. Yeah. We use this uh, laser thing yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. So it's check. completely laser guided. And I also saw, I did already some checking. I seen that you're also using advanced measurement system on the steering wheel that shows the angle of the steering so if I move it slightly yeah that, that was already a lot more than I was supposed to be doing uh, also some simulation of the weight of the driver I think we even need to add another 20 kilograms for Robert <laughs> just kidding <laughs> what's the purpose of this string string yes okay with the string we do the the measurement yes from the axle yeah so we check it Yes, here. so we check the length from the left side and also the right side and this needs to be completely straight and then we measure the toe in and toe out. out. Yep. So the toe in and toe out, for those who are wondering, it's, uh, well, I should better indicate on the car, that, that shows how much the wheels point inwards or outwards. One of the most misconceptions probably uh, regarding track driving is all the guys who started to go in track driving say we need more negative camber to go like that and uh, like have all the stance nation thingies. This is partially true, but you can achieve a lot more with having toe in, toe out settings. Especially in this case, because Robert said the car is fairly unstable on the straights. It's not that the cornering uh, stability needs to be improved, but the straight. So in this case, the toe in and toe out is the most important. So what did you find out on the toe in and toe out settings in the yeah. first? So in the first, we find out that the uh, toe was in front, yeah. 0 0.5, yeah. and left and right, yes. and in the back, 0 0.5 and 0 point straight. Yeah, so the 0 flat. So already at the f uh, we can already tell that... Well, it should be equal at least. So that was why the car was not going straight. And I guess those are the suggested adjustments yes. that you want to do? Yes. So you want to add more toe in, so a half degree on the front and mm -hmm. even one and a half degree on the rear. So this should improve car a lot. And then, of course, uh, we can move in to adjust the camber settings but this is something we will do next time because first we need to see if Robert is satisfied with the settings, if the car is right. So tonight we will go out on the track, do some measurement, have some fun on the track. There is one more thing I want to show you. This car, of course, has a flat, flat underbody and we, uh, I guess we took off already the, this is the front splitter. So you can see that the car is really being used and maybe even some would say abused on the track because the flat on the bottom, flat front splitter is, well, used. I wouldn't say damaged, it's used, properly used. And while we are here, let's maybe, for those who haven't seen my videos previously, maybe have a look at Gatspeed at the workshop, what else you've been doing. So you're specialized in Porsches a lot because you have like, what, seven, six, six, six this year. And I also saw that you, if people are watching and saying, 
do you have also are you doing casual cars as well because i i'm like nurburgring regular i'm driving a lot on the nurburgring can we do nurburgring setup well i guess we can call mini like more or less a regular car yeah uh, what uh, what are you doing with this today yeah, we will do the suspension of okay this car. yeah yeah new tires and rims yeah so also casual service you can come to get speed and get your track tool get you prepped other than that I saw you had a hurricane, but it's already gone because they're going to Hockenheim, right? No, oh, no, Dijon. Dijon. Dijon to France. Yeah, maybe let's have a quick look at the other yeah, Porsches. J2 without the engine. Oh, J2 without the engine. So small uh, check. Small check. Just a small check. Well, here's the trunk anyway, right? Yeah. Ha ha ha, just a stupid joke, just kidding. Uh, but seriously, again, in one of the previous videos, you should check it out. The, check it out. They told me that the cop engine requires rebuild after every 40 hours, yeah. I believe. Yeah. So maybe this was already 40 hours, and here, the Vodafone Porsche, as well, engineless. So a lot of work going on here. Oh. Until 24 hours. Oh yeah, because in three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Three weeks 24 hours. 24 hour race of the Nürburgring. So, in case you're gonna watch the live stream, make sure to cheer for Get Speed. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I wanted to save uh, before that she uh, brought up the 24 hour topic. There's a lot of work going on, but where are all the mechanics? They're just a bit camera shy. <laughs> <laughs> so, we only have Anna, but she knows also quite some things about cars. And sometimes we have also Tom. Hello. He also knows something about cars. <laughs> <laughs> cool, well, uh, I guess this is it for introduction. If you want me to film something more about get speed, about the cars, maybe explain you something about this amazing brake system, I don't know, just tell me in the comments and make sure to cheer for get speed and stay tuned because tonight we're gonna take out the 675 LT out on the track and see what the actual owner driver thinks of it. But I think he'll be positively surprised because I already have experience with working with get speed and they did a car previously, a race car before, and after doing a Lyman setup by them, the car and the drivers did a new personal records by many, many seconds. So again, looking forward to it. Stay tuned. And for now, lunchtime? Lunchtime! Lunchtime! And after lunch, the car is assembled again and ready to hit the track. But before we go to the track, it might be a good idea to get some gas first. And while we're at it, also check our tire pressure. 1.9 should be okay for the first lap. And after that, we will let some air out. So, hey there. Hello there. Hi. So just one more time for people who didn't see the previous video when we dropped off the car. What was the main point that you didn't like about it? Um, the main thing I didn't like was that it was tracking really hard under, um, you know, at high speed. Yeah. Whether it was here on Dodinger Hoa or if it was at Schmeidenkreuz or even on the Autobahn, the car was just all over the place. Yeah. At 300 kilometers an hour, you were holding on. Yeah. So like I told you, the main important thing was to get stability on the straight. So that's what we're gonna test today and after that we might go for the camber settings. He's going out for a warm-up lap first and then I'm gonna join him and we're gonna see what's up. So it's like a different car. Totally even different? Even in the turns. Completely yeah. Different, yeah. yeah, it's actually gonna take me a couple laps to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I took it out and, and it's it's just much more effortless in the turns. Yeah. I wish I would have done this. Yeah. You know, like Last year. Last year, yeah. You ready? I'm ready. So you just took her out for a warm up lap? What do you think yeah, of it? So I got the tires warm. I mean honestly, if I think I said it earlier, it feels like a different car. So on the straightaways it it, it just feels so much better. Um, and that's even high-speed stuff, even even where you're turning. Um, so, for example, um, uh, where'd you film the cars the other day? Um, on the track day. Yeah. No, on the the. Oh, uh, where? 
Oh, that's uh, Hoheichen. Yeah, Hoheichen, exactly, thank you. Um, right through there, on the right-hander, Yeah. it's so much more stable. Before, I would actually, because of stability, I would lift a little bit more than I wanted to. Yeah. And now it's just it's just so stable through there that it's phenomenal. Um, and then uh, at Schradenkreuz, it's more balanced, but what I wasn't expecting is that in the turns, the steering is much lighter in the turns now. Okay. So I'm actually using less effort in the turns. Yeah. Which is weird. I'm not. I now have to get used to it. Yeah. Because my I'm like okay, this doesn't seem right. How easy? Yeah. The steering is because before the geometry was kind of messed up, and I was fighting the car, and I didn't realize I was actually fighting the car in the turns. So it's just really the steering is much lighter all the way around. Yeah. Pretty cool. Speed. <laughs> yeah, it's great. The, never, never could I have done that before. Yeah. Never.
I guess that says enough. <laughs> it doesn't like our tire pressures for the speed. <laughs> I love it. Very happy. Amazing. Way better, huh? Totally amazing. And yeah, what I tried to say when we entered the yellow zone at the carousel, I've done many, many laps to this car and it's really, even on a passenger seat, it's unrecognizable. And we were taking it quite easy because like Robert said, he really needs to get used to the car but, uh, again because it's a completely different car in a very positive sense of the word. But still, it behaves differently so we need to get used to it. There was also a lot of traffic, there was also a lot of yellow, so no record lap. But I mean, TF is not the best place to do any records anyway. But damn, cat speed. Good job. Good job. Good job, Adam. Good job, Anna. Good job, everyone. <laughs>